I-S-U-P-K. the independent black woman Bro. to rebel against the black house and the black man the black man is a ruler's house not the black woman and every black man knows that but the Christian church pushing for the black woman every church pushing you know for independence but the black man is supposed to rule the black house not the black woman read verse 16 can the book of Proverbs, chapter 31 and verse 16. She considereth a field and buyeth it. The black woman is a strong black woman. But the black woman is not to push herself stronger than the black man. The black man is stronger than the black woman. Because why? He is to protect the black woman. He is to nurture the black woman. But if you try to override the black man in the house, there will be destruction and there will be confusion. That is why there is so much problem in the black house. Because society trying to push the black woman to override the black man. And there will be war in the black house. There will be war in the black community. Because why? The only one, the black woman. And I want to throw away the black man. It's not supposed to be so. No, we didn't learn that just so. All that come through oppression and white supremacy and all the things that taught in the Christian church and the Muslim mosque, all these things have destroyed our women and pushed us and pushed the separation between the black man and the black woman. That is why white supremacy keep on pushing the independent black woman to destroy the black house. The book of Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. We're going to show you what really supposed to happen. Go ahead. The aged woman. The what? The aged woman. The aged woman who's supposed to be teaching the right thing. Go ahead. The aged woman likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. The only reason why some of these young women get on the way to get on is because why? The aged woman was not a good example. Right. Now we are here because we are telling you the truth. And you know that these young black women who are outside here on the streets, they learn from their mothers. Right. They learn from their tante. They learn from their grandmothers. So if the grandmothers are not good examples, what do you think will happen? What do you think will happen? The young woman will go astray. Read. Not false accusers. Not what? Salakia. Sorry, Salakia. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. The aged woman, all the tanti, all the granny, where do you think the young woman learned it from? If you carry yourself according to holiness, the young women, the young girls will treat their bodies, they will treat their minds better than what's happening now. Right. Go ahead. Not false accusers. Not what? Not false accusers. Where do you think the young woman learning gossiping from? Where do you think all these young women learning the idle talk from? Right. 
from the older heads. So the old women supposed to teach the young ones. Go ahead. Not given to much wine. Not given to much wine. This is the Bible. Go ahead. Teachers of good things. Teachers of what? <laughs> Teachers of good things. So when they're talking now, all the tanti and them talking, I say, what's them young children? What's them young people? Where do you think they learn it from? From the old wretch tanti who teach the young children how to be prostitutes. Good. So that is why the age women supposed to teach the women the right thing. Go ahead. Verse 4. They, that they may teach the young women to that, be sober. That they should what? They should teach the young woman to be sober. That's right, go ahead. To love their husband. To what? To love their husband. So all the tanti said, leave him. He had no money. Leave him. You are a witch. And you are causing destruction to your people. Let the young woman learn. Teach them the right way. Tell them stay with the husband. Good. But you want to teach a young woman to leave the husband. And then they say, watch. It ain't no good man. But where did they learn it from? All the tanti and the granny, when they complain about the young woman, it's you as the cause. Right. And then they're complaining about the young woman. Teach the young woman the right thing. This is the Bible teaching it here. Go ahead. To love their husband. To love their husband. All the tanti and granny, teach the young woman to love your husband. Right. That's right. Go ahead. To love their children. To love what? To love their children. Don't tell you your young woman to go and look about all over the place. To go and lie all over the place. And leave your children unattended. They're dropping the children by the tanti and they go and party and lie. Teach the young women to raise the children. All the granny, all the complain about the young woman, use the cause. Because you didn't teach the young woman to be righteous. Right. You didn't teach the young woman to honor the husband. Right. When the woman getting on bad and she cussing her husband and mistreating her husband, you supporting that. When they're supposed to teach the young woman to love your husband, right? Teach the young woman to stay and cook for your husband. Don't run to the pastor. Go ahead. Verse 5. To be discreet. To be what? To be discreet. They want no loud mouth, stink mouth, tanty. Where did the young woman learn it from? All the laga who and them. Where think the young children learn it from? But then what? You're complaining when the young woman on the streets. But you, old woman, you Tanti, is the one who teach the young woman how to be a holo. So when the old woman teach the young woman the bad ways, what they expect to happen? So the older woman supposed to teach the young woman how to be sober. Right. Go ahead. To be discreet, chase keepers of a home. What? To be discreet, chase keepers at home. You're supposed to teach the young woman to be keepers at home. But you're blaming the young people, but not knowing is it Tanti and them that causing a problem. The older woman supposed to teach the young woman the right thing. Right. But don't complain when the young woman go astray because the tanti and them teach them that. Right. Teach the young woman how to take care of the bodies. Right. Teach the young woman how to be treating the husband. Don't complain. You is the problem because you didn't teach your daughter to listen to your husband. You is the one who didn't teach your daughter how to hush him out. Now once your husband leaves she, you're saying what? Where are you coming by me for? Right. For it's you who teach you to be a loud mouth. You who teach you to rebel against your husband. And when she leaves your husband, and she drops the train by you, you're saying, I don't want them. But it's you who cause your daughter to run your husband. Right. To run your husband. And then you're complaining after. Blacks. Hispanics and Native Indian women. Learn how to treat your children properly. Learn how to love your husband properly. The Indian woman loves she man. Right. The Chinese woman loves she man. Right. The white woman loves she man. 
But somehow the black woman wants to be independent. But that is no fault of your own. It's because the Christian church teaching you to be independent. White supremacy teaching you to rebel against your husband. The Christian church wants you to be independent and mash up your house. The book of First Peter chapter 3 and verse 5. And verse 5. The book of First Peter chapter 3 and verse 3. Who's adorning? Who's what? Who's adorning? This is talking about how a woman supposed to be. Go ahead. Who's adorning? Let it not be outward adorning. Not because you're looking nice. Not because you're looking sexy. You're looking good, but you're a pig. Don't be a pig to your husband. Don't act like a dog to your husband. You're looking pretty. You're looking nice, but you're a pig to your husband. Black woman, learn to respect your husband. Do not be a pig to your husband. No man likes a pig. No one likes a brawling woman in a house. No one hates a nagging woman. Because when a black man hears a nagging woman, the first thing you're going to do is leave the house. Right. Learn how to behave. The Bible is teaching you how to behave. Let it not be outward adorning of plaiting of the hair Go ahead. and wearing of gold Go ahead. or putting on of apparel. So don't feel like you dress up nice and look nice, but your attitude stink. Go ahead. But let it be the hidden man of the heart. Let it be the hidden man of your heart. Honor your, honor your husband, black woman. Honor your husband. Respect your husband. And the house, the black house will come back together. Stop pushing that hatred. Love your husband. And your husband will love you. Right. Stop following white supremacy. Stop following the independent woman. That is a lie. What? The hidden man of the heart yeah. in which is not corruptible. What? Even the ornaments of a meek and quiet spirit. The what? The ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. Black woman, you supposed to have a meek and a quiet spirit. Right. That ain't mean you can't talk. That ain't mean you can't say nothing. But you don't understand that you're supposed to have a meek and humble spirit towards your husband. Don't be brawling with your husband. Don't be talking down to your husband. Learn to love your husband, black woman. Go ahead. Which in the sight of the Most High is a great price. Which is what? Which in the sight of the Most High is of great price. Having a meek and humble spirit towards your husband is towards the Most High. This is what the Bible is saying. We are the ICPK, out of 1 West, 125th Street, and New York, under Commander General Johanna. And today, we're going to bring back order to the Black House, order to the Hispanic House, order to the Native Indian House, that the Black woman, Hispanic and Native Indian woman, must understand that she is under the rulership of the Black man. Right. There is no independent woman in the Black House. There's no independent woman in the Hispanic house. There's only one ruler in the black house, and that's the black man. We're going to show you that the black woman is supposed to honor the black man. Love your husband. Don't fight your husband. Don't feel because you're making more money than your husband. You want to rule your house. The black man is supposed to rule your house. Why? The book of 2 Timothy chapter 2. The book of First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. If your woman has learned something, she's going to get it from you, black man. There's order and there's structure in society. There's order and there's structure in your house. And the black man is the head of the house, not the black woman. 
So whenever the Christian church and white supremacy is pushing, the Bible does not teach that. Today, we're going to continue to see how the Christian church has been lying and creating destruction to the black house. Christianity has been teaching the black woman to be a monster. Christianity has teaching the black woman to be a hypocrite. Christianity teaching the black woman to go against the black man. What? The book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband. Read it again. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 22. These are not my words. This is the words of the Bible. So if you want to be an independent black woman and you say you love God and you love the Bible, listen to this. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband Sub as unto the Lord. Submit yourselves to your own husband. Do not submit yourself to the pastor. Submit yourself to your own husband. Hey. Your own husband, not hey. the pastor. The pastor is not your husband. Right. Right. Read it again. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. As unto the Lord. As unto the Lord. That is how you're supposed to obey your husband. That is how you're supposed to submit to your husband. This is the Bible. So it's not an independent woman. It's not equality. The black man is the head of the black house, not the black woman. That is what the Bible said. Good. Those are the, what the white man said, and what T.D. Jake said, and Creflo Dollar, and Pastor Gemma. Read what the Bible said. Read it one more time. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5, and verse 22. Why? Submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Submit yourselves unto your own husband. So there's no other man other than your husband supposed to dictate what you're doing. Right. No pastor supposed to dictate you. No imam supposed to dictate you. Only your husband. No pastor supposed to tell you, come down the road now. Your husband ruling you, not right. the pastor. Right. You cannot leave your husband unattended and go down by the pastor. That is witchcraft. That is witchcraft. Right. Your husband have your duty. You alone supposed to honor your husband. The pastor is not supposed to come up between them. The book of Ephesians. Chapter 5 and verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Verse 23. For the husband. For the what? For the husband. For the what? For the husband. This is the Bible. So if you want to be an independent black woman, if you want to rule your house, the Bible says otherwise. Go ahead. For the husband is the head of the wife. The what? The husband is the head of the wife. So why the hell you're fighting your husband? Why the hell he has a loud mouth? Right. Why the hell you don't understand that your husband is the head of the house? Right. Read. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Even as Christ is the head of the church. So if you believe in God, you believe in Christ, you believe in Jesus, and you're saying Jesus is the head of the church, and you're not listening to your husband, you are supposed to listen and obey your husband, just as how the church is supposed to listen and obey Christ. This is the Bible. This is not my words. Black woman, it's time that you come back and love your husband. Don't be a wicked woman in your house. 
Don't break down your house. Don't cause and quarrel with your husband. Don't teach them. Don't teach your children an evil lesson. Trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord